Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Let us stop what we are doing in our homes and quietly place ourselves in the presence of God. We continue the story of Saul. In spite of Saul's persecution, the apostles kept telling people about Jesus. Today, we hear about the apostle Philip and how he helped to spread Christ's good news. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That day, a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women he committed them to prison. Now, those who were scattered went from place to place, proclaiming the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the, the Messiah to them. The crowds, with one accord, listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud shrieks, came out of many who were possessed, and many others who were paralyzed or lame were cured. So there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. Pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. All right. Today we have a special prayer from Mrs. Demera. All right, our librarian. We haven't heard her voice in so long, right? Reading you stories and such. So I'm so happy that she sent her version of the Hail Mary for us. So we're going to listen to that. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Ferdinand, pray for us. We have two birthdays today. Loving God, you created all the people of the world, and you know each of us by name. We thank you for Bianca Aguirre and Giselle Maldonado, who celebrate their birthdays today. Bless Bianca and Giselle with your love and friendship, that they may grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. May they love their families always and be faithful to their friends. Grant this through Christ our Lord, Amen. Let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so here we are, Tuesday the 19th. Don't forget, this coming Friday, in just a few days, we have another one of our Ferdinand family fun Fridays, right? This time is kind of kicking off the Memorial Day weekend. So to each car that comes by, we'll pass out a flag or two that you can put on your lawn. It's about a medium sized plastic flag. Um, it'll be nice for you to remember because Memorial Day, even though it's a day off for most parents, it's a day off definitely um, for school kids. You won't have to do any e-learning on Monday. It's also a day called Memorial Day because we are supposed to remember those who have died in wars um, for the freedoms of our country. So we'll give out some flags so that you have some of those to put on your lawn or in a flower pot. And we're also giving out, I picked up yesterday, 75 coupons to the Dog Stop. One of our favorite local restaurants down on Belmont there, right? We've done a couple dine-in shares with them. Um, we have coupons for free hot dogs and fries. So um, I'll give a limit of two per car, but I think uh, you can only use one each time that you go. So yeah, that can give you one or two times to head over to the Dog Stop. Their drive through window is open and ready to serve you. And so that would be cool, right? It's a nice way. I think of hot dogs as kind of a summer barbecue thing. So that would be nice to be able to go over there and kick off your first um, summery type of weekend with that. So thanks to the Dog Stop for helping us out with that Ferdinand Family Fun Friday. That's from 6 to 7. Um, again, first, I think we have 100 flags. 100 flags will be giving out 75 Dog Stop coupons up to two per car. So hopefully we'll see you then. Uh, let's see, what else is coming up? 
less than three weeks now, we're going to have our um, foot knit for Ferdinand, first responders, and the food pantry, right? That's on Monday, June 8th. That's the only thing that you'll be required to do that day. Well, I shouldn't even say required. If you don't do it, it's not the end of the world, that's for sure. But I know that if we were in school, there'd be a couple things going on. We would have our walkathon one of these last days, and um, we would be doing something for all the people that aren't doing well during this time, right? We keep hearing that food pantries are becoming depleted. Um, first responders, we have so many parents that are first responders at Ferdinand. I thought it'd be nice to donate to, um, there's a few organizations that help support their families. So, you know, I'm hoping that you'll do a dollar for every minute. Um, and if you go outside, let's say minimum 15 minutes, go outside and walk, take a picture of yourself um, or a little video of you and send it in to us that day. And then um, when you come to pick up your books in the next few days after that, you can bring the money and we'll split it three ways. So let's say you walked for 30 minutes that day. Well, gosh, that would be $30. And that would be $10 for St. Ferdinand, $10 for the first responder organization, $10 for our food pantry right across the street. So keep thinking about that. I will be walking about 200 minutes that day on and off throughout the day. And every time I do, I will walk um, a minute for each child that was in school this year. And I will say your names as well. I'll break in to Facebook Live and then also for all the teachers and staff. So that equals about 200 people and 200 minutes. And Mrs. Felino is not in good shape and really hasn't walked much lately. So... It'll be a challenge, but I'm excited about that, that day. Hopefully we have nice weather. All right, let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, don't forget, if you ever wanna recommend a family to St. Ferdinand, we are willing to. We're gonna start doing like um, Zoom meetings with them and we're getting a virtual tour ready of our school and that kind of thing. Um, so there are ways to show off our school. And if you families that are already at Ferdinand recommend you get a month free tuition next year. So next April of 2021 would be free. And that would be awesome. All right, let's see. Um, please keep in sending the Hail Marys. Awesome that Mrs. Demera sent one in. I hope maybe teachers and staff can also, but they like to hear all the kids saying Hail Marys, other prayers to Mary, other prayers in general. I love showing you guys, right, to the world. Um, let's see. So yesterday we started our countdown to the last 17 days of school. Can you believe it? All right, and um, so I put the I put the letters of St. Ferdinand School, that's 17 letters, on a piece of construction paper. And yesterday we did S, and S was smile. And a lot of you sent in some silly smiles, or just beautiful smiles. And um, Miss Margaret made a collage, and that's right below this post here of your smile. So thank you for doing that. So that was S for smiles, and it was 17 days. So today is the T. All right, 16 school days left. Can you believe it? 16 school days, and this T stands for tree. Hmm, tree. So what do we want to do about that? Well, I was thinking that you could uh, somehow pose by a tree today. Whether you hug a tree, uh, climb a tree, or just stand by one. They're all in bloom now, and I thought I might show you um, my favorite tree in, in my uh, back room. So I think I'm going to try to take the camera here and walk you over to my tree. Do you want me to switch? Okay, let's switch it. Oh, hello. Okay. All right. So here we are walking through my house. All right. Just real quick. I would like to go outside, but my backyard is flooded, and I think it's kind of raining, so. Um, anyway, can you see this tree behind me? All right. It's red, right? It's a red tree. It's called a Japanese maple or Minazakazuka. And I love that tree. We planted that when it was just a little sapling. We actually call this tree Lorraine because my neighbor that used to live next door was a wonderful lady. And one time she gave us a little bit of cash for helping her out and we bought this tree and named it after her. Um, so later on, when it's not so yucky, I'm gonna go out there and pose by it because in the sunshine, it's super beautiful. All right, red, even at this time of year. So hopefully you can find a tree to pose by. If you can see, I also have like a big pine tree out there. It's kind of demented. Um, but that's a pretty tree too, although sticky. Sticky one to pose by. So, find a tree today for letter T. 16 days to go. Keep doing your e-learning. We can do this just a few more weeks. Right? And I will see you soon. Miss you.